was the U.S. involved in this attempted overthrow of the government of Venezuela? Uh, we don't know for sure, but we do have a little bit of contextual information. Uh, we had Mike Pompeo, who said, um, as for who bankrolled it, we're not prepared to share any more information about what we know took place. We'll unpack that at an appropriate time. We'll share that information that makes good sense. That's that's a very careful yeah. way of saying <laughs> yeah. that. Really it's fast. not just being like, no, we don't have nothing to do with this insane thing. You know, like how easy would that be if that were true? It, it uh, seems like it. There was no U.S. government uh, direct involvement in this operation. Uh, if we'd have been involved, it would have gone differently. Okay, ha! so he did not, really fast, he did not say there was no U.S. involvement in this. He said there was no U.S. direct involvement yeah. in this. Well, that's that says basically everything. Well, that was that was the whole appeal of the Bay of Pigs in the in, in the original kind of version of this of this uh, TV season. You know, like the uh, it, the plausible deniability of using um, kind of expats rather than regular American forces was part of the appeal. So, like, yeah, if it goes wrong, you can just be like, no, that wasn't us. But if it goes right, yeah, they could have claimed credit. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I I wonder, w will we find out more about this? I mean, we, we know that there have been connections between Silver Corp and like they'd done private security for Trump before. Like one of the individuals involved in the raid is photographed, like providing personal security. That doesn't necessarily mean anything except that our, our government is buffoonish and the people that they give contracts to. Um, but I wonder, will, will there be an investigation? Will there be Will there be any desire to find out? Because unfortunately, so many people in the Senate, do they really want to discover what's going on and potentially make it look bad and forestall future attempts to, to interfere with the regime? I don't know. You, you, you mentioned the Senate, and um, I've been I've been listening to a podcast called Fiasco about the Iran-Contra uh, affair, mm -hmm. and it's just wild to, to look back at that time and see Senate Democrats like very aggressively investigating the administration and voting to stop funding to the Contras in this in this kind of insane attempt that they were doing. Like that that is so unthinkable these days for the Senate to do something like that. Um, but they could, but they won't. Um, I suspect that if we find anything out about it, it'll be through reporting um, from journalists. But yeah, you know, it's one of those things where it fits the larger U.S. strategic goals, and I'm sure some elements of the U.S. state were aware of this and were just kind of like, yeah, fine, go ahead. Like, they're not going to stop it. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's, not like, it's not like this was a plan that was hatched at the highest levels, I don't think. It doesn't um, seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, for their sake, you'd hope not. Um, yeah. yeah, and so, and really fast, uh, just a little bit more on sort of the, the monetary aspect of this, because when you, when you see the details and how unlikely it was to actually succeed, it makes you wonder, well, first of all, why, why did anyone think? Like, the, the people who got involved in it, like, and people lost their lives. People died. Why? Yeah, people died. Why would you think that this could work? Well, um, there's two potential monetary explanations. One is that uh, Jordan Goudreau, uh, the ex-Green Beret who recruit, recruited and organized it, uh, apparently said that he had a contract with Guaido or something like we have I, I I haven't seen any evidence that it actually exists but that's what was out there and then you also have this just a few weeks ago on March 26 Secretary of State Mike Pompeo promised very big rewards for information leading to the arrest and or conviction of the top people in a Venezuelan regime that the United States no longer recognizes 15 million dollars for Maduro 10 million dollars each for four of his top officials all charged by Washington with drug trafficking now that that is not saying it's a bounty, hand us Maduro, you get $15 million. But also, what is information leading to his arrest? Like, he's in Venezuela, pay me. Yeah. I don't know. What, what is that he's information? In the, he's in the capital. He's, he's in got the, a like, house. The, yeah, he's got, they know where he lives. They know where the, the government is. Like, this so it is, seems like a wink and a nod to, yeah. if, you can, if you can bring him in, maybe if you get 50 people who definitely can't occupy a country, <laughs> but maybe could kidnap someone. Or assassinate him. Or assassinate, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's true as well. Um, the entire thing, again, very 2020, very unfortunate, and as you pointed out, not the first time, potentially not the last time. I doubt it will be the last time. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.